Welcome back everybody. My name is Jug and if you're new to the channel, what I do here is I build things in Fallout. So I made a lot of buildings over the last week. Some of them were quite small. Some of them were actually pretty big. This one was a boathouse that I made out on the Ohio River and it had a little boat inside of it. I kind of liked it, but I wanted to try something different. So I tried this bridge. This bridge was not so terribly difficult. It just didn't look right. Something about it was throwing me off. So I thought maybe I was just going to make something really big. What if I made something that was the entire size of my camp area? Well, that's going to require a couple videos if I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be squeezing on budget. So that's coming up. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So there was a spot in the middle of this lake for me to place my camp down. I went ahead and built all the way around it in a big square. And one good thing about having different floors is the ability to mark things. So what I like to do is just use them as markers. I know that that is going to be the center of that ring. I'm going to come over here and build the same thing on this side and then change one of these foundations so I can see where the center of this circle will be as well. This will make it easier on me when I'm ready to build the curves around the outsides of the walls. I do need to take this camp out of here, the camp node itself. I'm just going to go ahead and move it over here to a rock way out here, away from everything. Now this won't be the shape of the building. I've just built this like this to measure everything out. I'm going to actually move these foundations where I want them now. I'm going to Go back and put two on every side of this, um, I guess these crosses in the middle on these foundations. And when I'm done with it, I'm going to have something that has two crosses side by side just like this with one foundation separating them. Then I'll just go around and delete all the foundations that are closest to the center. Then I'm going to grab a wall and push it all the way out, snap it into place. Pick up the foundation and move it to the side. Now I did call that a wall, but what you want is a doorway. If it's a wall, you're not going to be able to move the foundation. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Now you got to be very careful on the placement of these foundations. I've done this a lot so I know exactly how far to go but if you're new to this you've not done round buildings yet I do suggest going back to my previous video after this video watch this one first and you might get the hang of things then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side I'm going to remove the foundations closest to the center and then I'm going to grab a doorway and push it out to the edge, just like this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab this foundation, move it to the side. Be very careful not to move it up or down. Just move it to the side there, grab another doorway, place it into place. Place it into place. Mm. Now I'm just taking some floors. I'm going to basically align this entire area with floor now um, well foundations technically so I'm going to go ahead and finish the foundation this is what it looks like it's three wide in the center and I'm going to go ahead and leave those special foundations in the center there What I want to do now is move these foundations to the right a half a unit. And in order to do that, I'm just going to drop a stairway, snap a small floor to it, 
Then I'm going to go get another stairway here and place it on that small floor. And then I'm just going to drag the foundation into the stairway just like that. Now I can get rid of the stairway and the floor and then use that as a guide to snap all the other foundations too. This is where things are going to start to get a little bit tricky. I'm going to have to start moving these to the side and I, I need to separate them enough to where I can fit a light box between these walls. In order to do that, I'm going to have to just snap a foundation then take this one and move it away from the first one. Just until it unsnaps like that. See that space I have? now. I don't want the space, well, I, I want that space, but I want another space on the left side. So I need to move this over, and then I'm just going to put the doorway right there. Once again, I'm going to take this and start moving to the side just until it, there it goes. Drop it into place. Now I go ahead and get a wall and place it on this one. I'm going to do this all the way down this row. So I need another foundation to snap to this one. There it is. It may take you a few tries to get this lined up perfectly to where you have an equal amount of space between each one of these. But if you keep doing it and you follow my method here, eventually you will get it. And you don't even have to line up the other side. You only have to line up that one side. Then you can just take these and trace them all the way over to the other side. Then I'm taking some doorways. I'm going to place them on the ends of each one of these rows. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a step back. This is the easiest way for me to see if everything is lined up and it looks right. This is exactly what I was looking for. So I got a lot more walls to place if I'm going to hide these gaps. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to place walls on the left and right sides of these rows here on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some doorways. I'm just grabbing the doorways because I'm going to run electric through here and I need to make sure that I got an open path for the wire to go through and then I can go ahead and switch it back to a wall. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Just flip around here, put one on the left there, one right there. I'm just going to go all the way down this row, the same I did with the other one. This is going to make it harder for anybody to see through here if they look at it from an angle. So now I've just grabbed the small steel walls, placing them on the tops of each of these doorways. It's actually chewing up a lot of budget now that I'm looking at it. I might get rid of this and come up with something else, but we'll see. The roofs on these curves, again, something I cover a little bit better in my previous video, 
is going to start with these square roofs. And then I'm just going to place small walls right attached to that roof and then just I'm going to move the roof over. Then I'm going to go down below and fill in some of these walls. I'm just squaring this off. Just going around the corners and blocking them out. I'm going to go from one doorway all the way to the other, just like that. Sometimes you're going to have a little bit of trouble placing these floors. You might actually have to go up top, get a better angle on it. Just like that. Now, once I get this floor in, I'm just going to go ahead and step above all of this, let you take a look at. This is the floor all around that curve there. I'm going to do the same thing to both sides. But first, see how there's gaps in this foundation? I, I go ahead and just move those foundations together. Just snap them back into place. And then that way when I put these walls on, these walls don't have any separation in them. They're actually going right up against... Well, if I... There we go. If it's not flipping the right way, just hold down your rotate button. It, it'll snap into place. I'm going to have a little gap here on the sides that I can just cover up with some walls. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this roof first. This is actually just the floor, but that'll allow me to put a second level if I'm going to keep going up with this. This is a stack of seven light boxes. I already have them all wired and I'm just going to make a blueprint of the entire thing. And I'm just going to name it a light bar. I already have one, but I'm going to save it over top of that one so you can see what I'm doing here. And then I can just use that blueprint to make these in between each one of these gaps in the walls. All you really have to do is just line it up. Try and find a, a marker on the floor that you know that you'll be able to find on the next floor. And just drop it down right there. I'm also going to go around and clean up these walls. The budget's something that's on my mind right about now. It's making me rethink how I'm going to build this in my head. Um, the back side, no way am I going to be getting light boxes on this back wall. Not with this building that we have here. So this side, I'm actually just going to wire and then leave the other side plain it's going to be the back side of the wall. So there's no point in worrying about it anyways. Nobody's going to see the lights on that side. Now that I got these light boxes hooked up, there's something to note about them. They don't actually emit any light. The light box itself lights up, but it doesn't shine any light on other objects. So I'm going to have to put some colored lights inside each one of these boxes. In order to do that, I need ceilings. So I'm going to put some roofs on each one of these little squares here. And then once I get the roofs down, I can place colored lights in each one of these boxes. Before I change these doorways back to walls, I want to make sure all of these wires are connected. So I'm going to go through, connect all of these colored lights. Once that one's done, I can go ahead and change that to a wall. Change this one to a wall. 
and then go up top and grab another light connect that one then I can start changing these to walls again I just go all the way through this hallway like that go ahead and seal up all of these walls and this is what it looks like look at that budget though there's a lot of work that needs to be done to this but in order to do that I'm gonna to have to be taking a lot of this away so maybe not so many light boxes maybe if we're, if I'm gonna make it a two-story building or even higher I'm gonna to have to get rid of all of those unnecessary walls in the back row now and there's a lot of changes to come come back for part two thanks for watching